Good day viewers and welcome back to Dallas Auto Diag. Recently I've been having a problem with the Autel device. Um, for many of you know that I use MS919 and uh, recently I um, I started having a problem reading uh, modules on network, on a specific network, like the whole network would be offline. Now let me start from the beginning. This is the middle of it but now it's it's getting developed so I had to I have to document this for the viewers and I uh, I kind of need an answer from Otto honestly I think I don't know something weird let me let me explain to you what happened from the beginning and you tell me if this is not weird or not so um, as I said I use the I use the MS919 and many of you guys know that this MS919, there is a big VCMI, they call it VCMI, that is three devices in one. It's a VCI and a signal generator and a scope. That VCI or VCMI, let's call it VS VCMI. That VCMI, recently I started uh, having a problem with similar like this when you come to scan the vehicle i have the secured gateway unlocked when you come to scan the vehicle you would have a no com on a four modules that are on a whole network now this is starting from the middle let me start from the beginning i know the video is going to be long but i want you to guys be patient with me so nobody thinks that i'm claiming stuff Okay, I just I'm trying to connect the VC. Huh? There we go. So many of you guys are gonna say, well, why you are using this? Because I had to send the other one that comes with the 919, I had to send it to repair. I will show you guys the ticket, the open ticket. Now let's start from the beginning let's exit out of here wait for this to connect okay we are connected now let's detect the vehicle the vehicle is running everything is good with the car except a couple of sensors and whatnot but Everything is intact, nothing is disconnected. AC works, radio works, AC works. Okay, and there is a reason why I'm showing you that the AC is working or the radio. Okay, auto off, yes. We're unlocking the skirt gateway. Just be patient with me. I think this is worth it. Before, I used to think it's a hardware malfunction. But I, now I think it's a server malfunction. It's not a device malfunction. I think it's a server issue. It's a software issue. And let me tell you why in a minute. So again, I, I, I did this... I think a month ago with my devices I uh, I noticed I started noticing I'm gonna keep you guys here until I pull up my account uh, with Autel okay secured gateway unlocked Okay, let's auto scan. 
now let's scan the whole vehicle. Now watch this side of the you see how it skipped it? Skipped HVAC, amplifier skipped, driver door module, DDM. I mean, 90% of these modules exist in this vehicle. Yet, the whole, which is CAN IHS, everything here. Radio, look, radio is right here. It's no calm. Now, it's not no calm, but we cannot view it. We cannot access it. Now, when I go here, so, somebody might say, well, these, there's an issue with this side of the, of the vehicle. Okay, if there's an issue, don't you think these modules will be telling about these modules? Like, say, for example, ABS is going to be saying, hey, there's no communication with the HVAC or something like that. When you come here, there is no communication issue. There is no U codes. You see, all there is here because the battery was dead. Transfer case, but transfer case is on the the uh, high speed. Okay. Look. Now be patient with me. I'm. I'm I'm going to I'm going to prove to you that I'm I'm right look how many modules here 17 17 modules now let's assume that sorry so when this happened to me before I contacted auto and what auto did they logged in to my device and they asked me if I have another VCI which which I have this that belongs to the 608. I told them yes. So they said, can you plug it? Actually, I, I did that before before contacting them. And uh, they said, do you have another one? I said, yes. So can you plug it? I plugged it. And uh, I showed them that something wrong with that VCMI, the big one. Because with this one, I was able to to talk to the missing part of the, uh, of the network. I think it was a medium speed on a Ford. This is Jeep. So they took this screenshots. They decided that there's a problem with that VCMI and they send me the instructions to uh, send it back to them. And I am going to show you a part of the report right here. This is a part of it. This is the technician that I talked to VCMI 919. Uh, RGA details and I have an open ticket yet uh, not solved yet sorry uh, now after that I started using this I'm like okay let me send that one and use this for a little bit until they fix it but now recently that the last three days I uh, noticed that same issues happening I'm like wait a minute was that my VCMI or something else so that's when today I did I, I got to this car and I see the same problem again. I have no communication in the scanner with that part of the vehicle, yet none of these modules is telling about them. I I had to take it a step forward. Unfortunately, this is the only auto VCI, VCI that I have right now. So what I decided to do, I decided to uh, power on the snap-on I do have a, a snap-on Verus Pro but before the snap-on sorry before the snap-on I decided to uh, power on the 608 and to see if it's my device now it's if it's the 919 is giving me the issue so again this is the 608 and when I do a full scan same number 17 and I have no communication. Of course, this device doesn't have the topology like this one. But everything we're talking to here, we're talking to here. Same results. And I'm going to do it again for you. So you don't think that I am claiming things on auto. Now let's turn this off. Put it on aside. Let's 
connect to this one it's already connected let's do a from the beginning Same vehicle. Hot old, yes. This is important, why? Because if, if I cannot depend, if I cannot trust my scanner, what I'm gonna do when I go to Diag a vehicle? I will always have doubts in my scanner. Before things were good, I, I, I've, I've had this, this one for maybe two years, three years now, maybe two years. And I had no issues with it before until recently. So that's a big problem to me. And that what would make people switch scanners, honestly. I mean, before I used to use Snap-on. See, unlocked. Diagnose, auto scan. Watch, it's going to skip those modules that we cannot talk to. Now again, somebody might say, hey, this is the problem with the vehicle. It's not. If it was, I wouldn't be making this video. I wouldn't, see, it's skipping all these modules. I wouldn't be posting this video. Okay, so now we're gonna disconnect this. That's when I decided to, you know what? Let me bring the Snap-on. And again, I'm not saying the Snap-on is a great device. I just wanna use it as Comparison. Okay. Connect the snap on. All right. Where's the snap on? Right here. Again, I did everything before deciding to film. Look, it's reading everything, but yet yeah, I'm gonna switch. Okay, let's start from the beginning. That's a Jeep. Now, for some reason, the snap-on is not letting me unlock the secure gateway, which I don't care. I just want to see what can we talk to. See, it keeps failing, although every everything in my account is updated. Okay, continue. Okay, see? gateway is locked i don't care about the gateway i'm not going to do any operations all i do is i want to see which modules i can talk to here Sixty-five percent, seventy-two. We're gonna count them because they don't have a count here. Or they do? Yeah, they do. Okay. So what's the total? Look, thirty modules. Snap-on was able to talk to thirty modules here, and you can tell from the list. Look, everything that we had—the blind spots, the no, the blind spots weren't, but the HVAC, the radio. The driver door module that was a quick glance I didn't compare but I wanted to see the number 30 so we're missing 13 modules why my five thousand dollars 
four thousand dollars whatever i mean right now it's six thousand with the updates that's what i paid um two years update but six thousand dollars and i cannot read half of the car auto have to give us a an explanation and this video will be online as long as they don't have a solution for it and i don't think this is an account issue i don't think this is my issue look um i just want to show you which modules here okay radio amplifier power lift gate all right so now we're gonna connect this again and the reason why because i know in some cases some I, I i might had it once before you you like you don't have any communication with the device on the topology but when you go to the, the device itself you'll be able to talk to it even if this is the case that would be a really messed up situation let's say for example right now we're connected this is the same scan let's say the driver door module that we just proved on snap on that we can talk to it so let's go to the driver door module no communication okay hvac this is passenger door module no communication radio Radio, where's the radio? Oh, radio, right here. No com. HVAC. No com again. So, well, this stuff makes people switch scanners. And I am this close from switching my auto setup. Honestly, uh, I've had enough. I've had enough. I've had enough with the recent update that they pushed to the 608 that you cannot use it until you're you're connected to the network. I've had enough of them telling me that whatever paper I print, it's going to go to them the, before I I can print it, or I'm giving them permission to print to have copy of it before I print it report or anything that it's something's going on an auto has to say something about it and if you think that you or somebody else have this problem please 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 this has nothing to do with views this has nothing to do with youtube this has to do with our right to use what we paid for correctly we have full access good again this is not my setup problem if it was why would i have it when i have the vcmi and then when i switch the blue vci and when i switch to the blue 608 and on top of that when i switch to the snap-on i can talk to everything that autel cannot talk to so again autel let's try to maintain that good relation between consumer and the company i think it's time for you to explain what's going on not to me but to the to the millions of users that paid good chunk of their living to be able to use those devices that you make so i know this was long i know this probably was boring but i think it's worth it and i am going to call this part one and if i hear any updates i will definitely update the case there will all uh, definitely be a part two to this issue uh and that might happen after seeing their decision of what's malfunctioning i am going to call auto after i think i'm going to call auto after i finish this recording this video although I don't want to because I see it useless before we had another VCI to compare with but today I don't have another VCI that's one too I know they're not gonna accept logging in to I mean I can give them access to my snap-on just to show them to compare but when I thought of it 
I know nobody's gonna believe me. You know, but no, I know their policy is not gonna allow their tech support to log in to other devices just for comparison. So that's why that's one of the reasons why I decided to make this video with no pauses, no no editing, no 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 nothing. It's a one shot video. And uh, please, if you have, if you start having the similar uh, problem, uh, put a comment below. Let's make this as one issue we have to raise. And uh, if if not, if you haven't paid attention to your device, uh, if you're watching this video, please pay attention to it. See if you have a similar issue. But for now, thank you guys for uh, staying around and uh, I'll keep you posted.